Hello everyone. I'm Gutterman. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build, a launchable combat drone. For this build we're gonna need, 1 AI basic, 1 AI flight and 1 AI offensive block. We'll also be needing, a connector, 2 timers and an event controller, and some weapons. First of, we need a flying body. Then we need to place the AI blocks, with the arrow on the bottom, pointing forward. Like this. Ideally you want them to be right above, or at least close to the connector. Then we'll place an event controller. Let's just place it right here. This is to reactivate the combat sequence, in case the drone gets shot at. Now we need two timers, one for the engagement, and one for the return home sequence. I'll already have my connector placed. Like you see it's just below the AI blocks. This is important if the drone should be able to land again. But I don't think that would be ideal in a PvP situation. Now let's place some weapons on the drone. I think we're gonna go with the Gatling gun and the autocannon for this one. Let's just do something like this. There we go. I almost forgot we're gonna need a beacon on the launch pad. This is so the drone will be able to find its way back again. Then we're gonna go to the K menu, find the AI basic, and set the beacon we just placed on the landing pad, as a home reference. Like so. Normally I would set it to something like minimum at about 110, and maximum at about 200 meters. But for this tutorial we're gonna go with 25 and 30 meters. Now the AI flight block. Set speed to 100 meters a second. I like that it's able to fly low, so let's go with the 25 meters minimum attitude. Since this body has good thrust in all directions, we will set the pitch and roll angles, at 90 degrees. And then the AI offensive block. The target search interval should be set to 5 seconds. The attack pattern determine how the drone will attack. For this tutorial though, I think circle and orbit will be fine. Set the circle distance to 200 meters. And add all available weapons below. Like this. Now we're gonna set up the event controller. Set the event, to block integrity. And the threshold to 99.9%. .9%. The condition should be set to equal or less than. Now add all blocks below. This was a mistake, and the AND gate should not be crossed, toggled on. Now, we're gonna set up the timer sequences. Rename the first timer block to timer engage. Cross off silent. And set the delay to 1 second. Then press setup actions. First we're gonna drag the AI offensive block down. Set it to, turn AI behavior on. Second, the connector. Set it to switch lock. We need all thrusters in one group. Like this. 
boom. I'm just gonna place the thruster group in the toolbar, so I can turn them off once we're landed. Let's get back to the timer and gauge sequence. Here we're gonna place the thruster group we just made. Set it to turn on. Then the AI basic block. Set it to AI behavior off. Now the AI flight block. Set it to AI behavior on. And lastly, we are gonna drag down our second timer. Set it to start. We are gonna set it up next. First, rename it to timer return home. And cross off silent. The delay on this timer will determine how long the drone will be in combat before returning home. In this tutorial, we're gonna set it to 45 seconds. Now we're gonna set up the timer sequence. First of, drag the AI offensive block down to the toolbar and set it to AI behavior off. Then drag the AI basic block down and set it to AI behavior on. That's it for the timers. Then we're gonna place the drone on the landing pad. Like this. Now, we need to set up the actions for the event controller. Drag down the timer engage, and set it to, trigger now. Now we're just gonna place the timer engage on our toolbar. And set it to, trigger now. That should be about it. Congratulation, you should now have a working combat drone. As you can see, the drone will now return, and patrol the launch ship. Or in this case, the launch pad. If the drone were to get attacked now, it would repeat the engage sequence, and attack again. I hope you'll find this tutorial useful, and consider subscribing to my channel, it costs nothing, and we have cookies. Thank you, and have a nice day.